So what we find is that the voltage output of of the combination is how much is 0 0.34 volt and it is said to be due to reduction of copper electrode. Therefore, therefore, standard reduction potential of copper electrode was found to be 0.34 volt which can be written as E naught RED reduction of copper as 0.34 volt or it can be written as copper ions oblique copper 0.34 volt. This representation shows ions are changing into what? Getting reduced to copper. So this is a representation for reduction and this is how we can find out what? The electrode potentials of the different possible electrodes and we have we, have, we will be getting either the E0 oxidations or E0 reductions. E0 oxidation for those species which are more reactive than hydrogen in terms of losing electrons and E0 reduction for those species which are found to be less reactive uh, in the sense of, of, uh, of lo losing electrons. So in this way we were getting actually two types of values of E0 oxidation and E0 reduction. E0 values are having to, are, are represented in two ways, E0 oxidation and E0 reduction. But out of which definitely we use this only E0 reduction and those which are having values of uh, E0 in terms of oxidation, their values are changed to E0 reduction by changing the sign. So this is how we were able to manage, we were able to determine the E0 values of the all possible electrodes by connecting them with the SHE and whatever the potential outputs we get in these combinations, they were all set to be due to those electrodes which are connected with the SHE because SHE's potential is already taken initially as 0. So what is important to note in this is that the E0 values can be E0 oxidation or it can be E0 reduction. We will, uh, we know E0 oxidation can be converted to E0 reduction by the simple change in their sign and we will use only E0 reduction for all calculations and representations. So this is what we will do always and that is why what we have done is when the E0 values of the all possible electrodes, E0 reduction values of the all possible electrodes were arranged in the increasing order of their values, the series which we get is called electrochemical series or the reactivity series. So let us see that series first. When the E0 reduction values of the different possible electrodes are arranged in the increasing order of their values, the series obtained is called electrochemical series or in short it is called ECS. ECS. Now it is a main reactivity series the whose short version you have studied in your junior classes where you have studied only the relative reactivities of the metal. But this series involves all metals and non-metals and other species which are possible whose electrodes are, are, uh, can be, are possible. So they all have been actually put together to form a series which is called electrochemical series. The series actually is actually depending or taking value which is the standard E0 reduction value. And we have placed these species or they are in the increasing order of their E0 values. So it's like this. So what we find is it's like down the series what we find is E0 values, E0 reduction values are increasing. Now what is most important is the center point in this case is your hydrogen whose value is 0, 0.0 volts. Now all those species which are lying above it are having what? Negative E0 reduction. Whereas because these are the species which gets oxidized. 
they have their higher oxidation potentials but when they are converted into their inner reduction this value becomes negative whereas those species which are lying after hydrogen they are all are having their positive e naught reduction values and the lower is the position of the species in this according to this arrangement higher is its e naught reduction value so this is what is the reactivity series which can be used in many different ways like let us take its applications first the first application it gives the relative reactivity the relative reactivity means what that lower is the e naught reduction value of any species higher is its ability to lose electrons so therefore better reducing agent it will be and that is why we can say the strongest reducing agent we can have is your lithium similarly higher is the e naught reduction value or lower is the position of the species in the series higher is its ability to accept electron and get reduced so therefore better oxidizing agent it is so therefore the species which is which can be regarded as the strongest oxidizing agent which can take out electron from any other species is the fluorine and that is why this makes fluorine most reactive so this is how we can compare the relative reactivities or the say or the tendency of the species to lose or gain electrons second application which out of these species will react with mineral acids and will release hydrogen gas yes all those species which are lying above hydrogen with negative e not reduction will react with mineral acids like hcl hno3 h2so4 and will release hydrogen gas because they can displace h plus ions from these acids and will release h plus uh, hydrogen gas the species which are lying below it with positive e not reduction values cannot displace this so this is not possible so they doesn't react with the mineral acids third application third application is that obviously the species with the lower e not reduction potentials can reduce the species with the higher reduction potentials and that is how they can displace them from their salt solutions which we have been doing knowing from the junior level that yes if we take we can take a uh, a uh, zinc uh, along with the uh, ferrous sulfates and zinc will the zinc being lying upper then the fe will displace fe and will reduce fe and it will get itself changed to zinc plus ions so the species with lower e non reduction values can displace and can reduce the species with higher e non reduction and can and can displace them from their salt solutions but the reverse is not possible because because then it will be a non spontaneous reaction which will not take place on its own so these are the few most important applications we can have out of the series the next most important application of this species is that we can select any two electrodes and we can make what galvanic cell because their potentials will not be same we can connect any two cells any two electrodes and we can make what cell which cell galvanic cell which will have a spontaneous redox reaction which will be converted into what electrical energy let us see how this takes place and what all the different outputs we get 